Hi, I'm going to introduce some ideas about layering on a MacBook Pro with Mac Pages. I'm going to do a sort of comic book shout out box. You know the sort of thing stars, explosions, that kind of thing. First up, I'm going to find a shape. There's not a shape I want here, so I'm going to click on the pen tool to click myself my own shape. This is pretty easy and you can make your own shape I'm sure much better than me. The more points you make on this the better but don't worry about being perfect with it. There you go, how's that? I click back onto the first point and now I'm finished. And as soon as I do over here on the styles on the right hand side, all the colours appear. Now I'm going to pick the fill that with a dark grey. The border, I'm going to make it seem like I've done it with a sort of charcoal affair and bump that up a bit. But I'm going to make sure that matches my grey as well. I'm going to have a drop shadow and blur it a bit just so that it really really blurs that background and there we are we've got our, our star explosion we'll click on it again and do command D to duplicate it this time back to my style and I'm going to make a nice bold color with the fill that might be a bit too bold but hey who cares I'm going to drag my handles around just to make it a little bit bigger to emphasize that sort of shadow affair. And there we have it. There is our box with its shadow. We've got two layers on the screen now, the shadow and the object. Now we're going to put some text on there. I'm just going to put here, shoot. Sounds right to me. Command A to select it all. And now I'm going to change the typeface both in size and style. So I'm going to click on the spinner to the right and up will come our shoot. You might just type the value in, I don't know. But I'm going to just go slowly here so you can see it happen. There's the right sort of size. I'm going to click on Helvetica New on there. And I'm going to find a typeface, which I've got here called Marker Felt. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm going to break that text down a bit by highlighting individual letters and changing the size of the text. So it looks a bit like I've handwritten it, even though I haven't, of course. Once I'm happy with that, again, it's back to perhaps do some sort of special effects on it. So we'll add a drop shadow on that too. And we'll add a good blur around the outside. And we'll make that shadow a different color. So I'm gonna make that shadow a blue. And that's it. So now I'm there with that. Let's go back to our text for a second. We did the body marker felt here. Let's change the color of that text to another sort of blue to go with the other blue that I selected. All that remains me now to do is to shoot it over onto my star. And there we have it, a shout out box created with layers. Thanks very much for watching.